how do you manage to maintain some kind of good level on the others and still pushing your hip hop freestyle to a high level? I'm curious to know how do you manage that? First, appreciate, bro. <laughs> like, um, boy, like I said before, I actually didn't start with hip hop, and I don't see myself as I am a hip hop dancer or my main style is hip hop. I, I would say, I express myself in hip hop freestyle, in competitions, because no one can tell me anything. <laughs> like, I'm telling you honest, it sounds strange, but I tell you the reason why. I enter. Popping battles, the first. Okay, it was hip hop, but I, it was not hip hop because everybody was doing something. Like back then, we didn't know what we were doing, you know. <laughs> so, let's say the first real competition that it was like, okay, we entering was popping. For the popping dancers, I was not popping enough. Okay, I enter house battles. For the house dancers, I was not house dancer enough. Okay. <laughs> and I do respect all this because I had to do my homework. Like you said yeah. before, you gotta concentrate on one style to be able to really focus on that. Like house, I remember I was practicing house so much. And it took me, I think, two years till it make in my head, ah, now I understand the feeling. Just the yeah. feeling after two years really practicing. Mm -hmm. It made so much sense. Like the party or something like this made so much more sense, and it was so I feel it now, even though I was doing it for years, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, in in hip hop was kind of the same back then here. So I was entering hip hop battles, and people were telling me, "Look, it's so much popping inside." I was really using popping in hip hop, mm -hmm. like back then. What you can see nowadays, a lot I was doing back then, but for the people here, mm -hmm. they were like, no, this is the, too much popping. Okay, uh, let's change, change, change a little bit. Okay. Uh, for the next time was a little bit too much house. I'd be like, okay. And okay, it's too much house, too much popping, too much this, okay. The first time I met Wiggles, I couldn't speak English not at all but he could speak spanish you know and he came up to me and he was like my biggest inspiration mm -hmm. and he came up to me and said that if i can dance salsa he can see it. and i'm like yeah and then he said i would like you to do this because this is hip-hop my world fall down i was like the whole time people tell me this is not hip-hop this is not hip-hop and then uh, yeah do salsa because this is a big influence in it and top rock and breaking is hip-hop I didn't know what, what hip-hop was. This was the mix of everything. Yeah, and I asked him, yeah, popping can I do? Of course, you gotta learn. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta learn how to bounce while you pop. Okay, now that makes sense. Can I use house? He said, yeah, change the kind of feelings that you put into it. You understand the house feeling? Yes, change the feeling, put something into it. And then conversations with Hiro. Like I have met through my, my the last years, people like Hiro, like Wiggles, that have really changed totally my my way of seeing the foundation basics and all this. Like I learn, I stick to house a long time. I stick to popping, and I'm practicing popping the most. I love okay. popping. I love yeah, it yeah. the most. Right. And and since I understood how I can use this kind of foundation, because I really practice like a popping dance. I would dance popping. Like really, I'm not trying to be to be um, the hip hop way of popping of mine. I try to learn all the foundations of popping and then to understand okay. and then I can apply. The moment I take this into hip hop, mm -hmm. this is where the touch comes, like where I start mixing up and get rid of all the, the things that are not popping or are not considered as it's not popping, I put it into the hip hop. Oh, I see.